Foam it up, we gon' burn it down. I'm starting off with a face primer to moisturize and of course fill in my old lady wrinkles. And then I'm going straight for the eyes. Using a precision tapered brush, I'm first going in with a medium brown eyeshadow as the base. Using the same brush, I am darkening my crease with a dark brown eyeshadow. With my blending brush, I'm dabbing a little bit of the bronze shadow and smoothing out the edges, and blending it all in so the transitions aren't so harsh. And with a dampened flat eyeshadow brush, I'm packing on the gold eyeshadow and blending it all out. I'm also applying the dark brown and the gold eyeshadow underneath my waterline. To finish off the eyes, I'm lining them with a black eyeliner, some mascara, and of course the false lashes. Using the foundation, I'm only applying it to the top half of my face because there is absolutely no point for me to do the rest because we're going to make it nice and glory. Said I took a mini lunch break and I knew I wasn't going to eat anything doing the rest of this tutorial so you know I had to do that. Now for the fun stuff. You don't have to but I use duct tape to cover my lips to make it easier for me to apply everything but you know to each their own. I traced out the shape I wanted with pencil liner and then I painted over everything with black body paint. The first paint that I used was cheap and watery so I just went back over everything with the actual good paint. I like to use liquid latex as an adhesive, but you're free to use whatever you want. There's a lot of different options if you're allergic to the latex. I'm not sure why, but I seem to always have a serious problem with my eye watering every time I do my makeup just for the one eye, so just ignore the tears. Applying the cotton balls, you will look like Santa Claus for a little bit, but that goes away once you start applying the paint. For this part, you can use as many shades as you want. You can go free, go wild, go crazy. I just focused on three main colors, which is red, black, and I used the white to blend in with the red to make a pink. But um, yeah, do whatever you want. I sort of got a little carried away with the cotton balls, so I took some of it off and continued to pull and paint and do all of that stuff. But you literally can do whatever you want. Put as much as you want, as little as you want, make designs, who cares? It's your face. <laughs> Once you're finally satisfied, you can move on to the skin. I'm still working on this recipe for the scar wax and I'll post a DIY tutorial for it later but I realized water is the definite key 
for this. So um, roll it out and stick it to wherever you want, but it will stick to your fingers for the most part. So as long as your hands are wet or damp, it won't. And just smooth it out with the water. Paper brush. I am blending blush in with regular powder because I didn't realize I really rubbed my skin to apply the blush and I couldn't do that for the scar wax so I had to kind of pat it in and it soaks up the color a lot. I don't know if soaking is the correct word to use for it but if it comes out to be too much just apply more powder to kind of neutralize everything. Add a little zombie glow and highlight and Don't burn it down.